When I get the chance to, I will. As you can see, there's this rather large cardboard box here. Uh, <laughs> it's actually empty at the moment, uh, but this is basically what um, the product arrived in. Now, for the first time as well, I'm going to be using not one, but two cameras. Hello there, can you see me? <laughs> So yeah, um, <laughs> I'm going to be using two cameras, so what I'll be doing, obviously, is switching between the two while I'm recording. So, let's get rid of this box, which there's nothing in there, and and replace it with the thing that was inside the box. Ta-da! Batman! So, without further ado, let me... <clears throat> Adjust myself, and uh, oops, sorry, I caught the camera a bit, uh, the laptop a bit there, and let us carry on with the unboxing. Okay, here we are. Please excuse my big belly, but uh, <laughs> it was kind of the way to do this. As you can see, there it is, the Batman Arkham Knight. It's a rather big box, as you can see there, and. Uh, Look, so from the other camera, there you'll be able to see things as I sort of place them onto the, the desk there. Now, it looks like there's a couple of bits of tape at the top here. So rather than try and pick that tape off, I've got my trusty little Swiss knife there. And we shall cut there and... Uh, cut there, right? Then should be able, unless it's taped. At the, yep, it's taped at the bottom as well. As <laughs> you can see, a bit of tape there. So let's uh, let's cut that tape. If we do that, and we cut that bit of tape there. Then, well, if I show you oh, this bit, uh, let me see, uh, can, I, can you see there? Uh, obviously, you'll see reflections of stuff in the room. Um, let can see, from the top there, art book, a 12-inch statue, the new 52 Skins Pack DLC, uh, Harley Quinn Story Pack DLC, the Scarecrow Nightmare... Uh, missions pack DLC, which is exclusive to the uh, the PlayStation version, a comic book and a steel book. So let's lift that up there. And uh, oh, <laughs> well, it says there MMXV, which is basically 2015 from a grateful city in memory of Gotham Knight. Oh. Makes it sound like some kind of tombstone <laughs> or something like that. No. Oh, it just says the same thing on both sides. So, if I uh, pull that out from there and lift it, lift it open, there we have the usual sort of warning uh, type stuff uh, I don't know if you can let me get that in camera there a warning thing because of the uh, statue basically being fragile it actually says fragile remove products carefully the packaging the packing materials are intended to protect the products blah 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 blah, blah. so there we go and uh, oh right so the thing there about the statue, it says, uh, remove building to reveal power button. So, there we go. Uh, it looks like in the top there, that is like the, the steel book, I think, of the, well, of the game. Right there. Um, 
So you open it up. Um, yep. <laughs> it's okay to show you that because it, there's no codes in view. Uh, there's the Harley Quinn thing and uh, the little Batman thing. And oh, yep, the game. Oh. Uh, the game disc is actually in the case there. Uh, what else is? What else do we have in it? We have a code. F we have a, a code for the first Batman skin uh, pack, which is rather funky. And it's just started thundering outside. Gotham needs me. And there's the uh, the Scarecrow missions uh, DLC card. Right. So yeah, we've got the steel book with the game uh, in there. I'll just push the box back. And if I flick to the other camera there. This is what I was saying. This is uh, you can see basically what I'm doing on the desk. Uh, like I say, the Scarecrow missions card, the first appearance Batman skin, and the Harley Quinn story pack are all there. So if we put those in there, and that's obviously like your, your little. Uh, it happens to, mainly seems to be just at the end lois. End user license agreement. It doesn't have, with a page for notes, so it doesn't actually say a lot. It's not a an in instruction book or anything like that. So yeah, it's a rather funky case there with uh, that on the back and sort of Batmobile type thing on the back there. So let's put that over there and uh, now this is going to be a bit. Hmm, a bit awkward to get out of uh, because it seems the actual box is mainly just for the uh, the statues. So let me just stand up here. Now, if, if you can see from the uh, the above camera, I say, you can see we have the comic. So, oh, there we go. Let's. Uh, <laughs> Put the box over there. Right. Okay. Uh, still showing from above. If I use this camera, uh, there is the Arkham Knight comic. It's not a very thick comic. It's just sort of a, a quick, basic, uh, short story. I guess you could say nothing to. Um, what is? Oh, before the storm. So. Yeah, it, it's literally just a short story on, I suppose, a slight prelude to the game there. Um, it's not really anything uh, of, of value, I suppose you could say. Uh, now, what I shall do is... <laughs> show you the book there. How's that? There's a rather, rather big book for you. Um, oh, and on the back there, this is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. And uh, obviously, it's uh, sort of. Oops. The usual. Uh, Artwork there of uh, of the game and you know, the usual sort of concept art and that kind of thing and uh, it, it's pretty interesting you know I mean some people may think uh, concept art it's a bit boring and stuff but it just gives you a bit of an idea into sort of the design process um, of the way that you know the, the game was put together and stuff like that. So, oh, sorry, that's a bit uh, a bit bright there. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, as you could, 
You'd probably see better then because it's a better light. That is a rather a rather, blah, 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 a rather funky logo. The cover is basically covering that. Uh, as you can see there. So you've got that on the front. Uh, just slide the cover off there. You've got that on the inside of the cover, and you've got the Batmobile uh, on the back there. So yeah, rather nice book. I mean, it's uh, rather substantial. It's not exactly um, you know a piddly little book, <laughs> as you might say. But uh, all right, that's. Let's get the book. There's uh, another picture of the, the logo in, in, in the book there. And uh, right. So that goes like that. And that goes like that. We shall place that. Oh, I'll place that over here with the, the game. And now, for the statue. Da, 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 da. How shall we unveil this? Uh, it looks like it goes this way up. And so we shall do it from here. <laughs> Let's. Let's do it that way. Oh, oh, wow. Well, what do you know? There it is. The statue. If we slide that off there like so. Put that there. Wow, there's a fair bit of weight in it. It's not exactly uh, the lightest of products. Uh, lots of things. There's a, a bag over his head for some reason. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there it is. Uh, what can I say? I mean, it's... Some people might think, oh, you know, it's just shoddy, clunky, like plastic, which, to be fair, okay, yeah, it is. It's not exactly uh, the most sort of, I guess you could say, strongest of materials they could have used. But saying that, I mean, it is jolly good I mean it's uh, you've got the I don't know if you can actually take Batman off there I'm not gonna risk it but I, th I think he may just kind of sl oh hold on did that ah it's uh, yes uh, as you can probably see there there's just a, like a couple of a couple of studs that sort of go into the uh, I think so, yeah, Batman is totally removable uh, from the statue. And, uh, I mean, the detail is great. I've got to say, it's uh, it's not really, how can you put it, quickly done, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Some models, they do tend to uh, sort of just be done pretty rash and quick and the quality isn't as good but saying that um, for some reason you can remove that building as well uh, oh right yeah that's right there's there's that button uh, because now this was something that I didn't realize and I actually didn't know about it because I don't think anybody actually told us this, but in the box, <laughs> in the box there, we have some batteries. And you might think, well, why do you need batteries with this? Good question. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, 
rather than just keep spinning it round. <laughs> but let me just remove that in case it falls out. So that's uh, because I think I showed you, didn't I? That there's a, a button there now. If we turn this over, there is a battery compartment um, of which needs one of those small screwdrivers. I don't to have one around somewhere. Uh, excuse me just a moment while I... Uh, ah. There it is. Ta -da. I always keep one handy because you never know. <laughs> um, so let me just uh, put that there as you can see. Let's uh, unscrew the bottom there and take that out. Let's, uh, let's try and get these batteries out as one. And two, three, right, we'll place those there, I see. So we put one battery in up there, one battery up there, and the third battery there. Oops, let's make sure I don't lose that little screw, otherwise the cover won't go on properly. Oh, let's make sure that's clipped clicked in there. Okay then. Make sure that's done. Okay. So uh, that's the batteries batteries put in there. Um, let's put Batman back on on top here. And then if I press the button, oh, oh, hold on a bit, let me put that back and let's turn the light off. And there it is. That is why there are batteries with the, uh, with the statue, because let me show you with this camera because it's slightly better. Uh, it basically lights up uh, underneath there, as you can see. And so, yeah, <laughs> that is actually rather funky there. I didn't, uh, I didn't know that it lit up like that. So, there you go. That was a big statue with, uh, with a light-up base. And, uh, yeah. He is the Batman. And so, there we go. That's it. That's the unboxing of the Batman Arkham Knight PlayStation 4 edition. It doesn't really matter what edition it is, but the fact that you get the lovely statue there, you uh, got all the DLC there, and... A book and a comic um, managed to get it while it was still pretty cheap if you look on Amazon now it's gonna be I think it's 90 quid uh, the main reason was probably probably because people may have uh, cancelled their order Amazon kind of did the wrong thing and sent out codes for the game and the DLC before that we got the physical product which I did as well if I wanted to I could have easily cancelled uh, the actual product and literally just uh, kept the code, had the free game, had the free DLC and everything but I didn't want to do that and so yeah there we go, that's the Batman Arkham Knight Limited Edition if you've liked this video and if you like to, would like to see more unboxing videos in the future that I may do then please subscribe and if you've liked the video give it a thumbs up but for now, I shall bid you adieu and say goodbye.